Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video about a repair I just did. Uh, a buddy of mine dropped this off. It was having issues with powering on. Uh, this is an HP M9500Y. There you go. And um, he uses it for video editing. It's good. Good buddy of mine, I do a lot of, you know, different repairs for him. And uh, this machine, he was having some issues with it, it powering up. Um, it wouldn't power up for him. Oops, if I put this the right way, I'm sure some people are going to yell at me for turning it that way. I'm sorry, you know, just doing this one-handed, it's not easy. I'm not a professional at YouTube. I'm using an iPhone. I mean, come on. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, it turns out the uh, there's like six capacitors or so in the power circuit. They end up going bad. They're one one thousand microfarad, six point three volt. Um, you can see. There we go. Uh, kinda. Yeah, there we go. These two here. There's two of them these two here um, and then the, you know there's another one right back there and one there so what's that for that's six of them um, I don't know what it is they they use some some cheap or you know bad supplied caps and uh, here they are here Get them to focus and you can see the middle one there is is significantly bulged at the bottom there. Um, this one was leaking here in my thumb. As I said, this one here that I'm touching, that one's significantly bulged at the bottom. There's some pretty nasty crusties on them. The, there's a couple other ones that are popcorning at the top. Um, you, I don't know how well you can see that one there. I mean, it's not popcorn in big time, but it's it's doing it enough where it was eventually about to fail. Um, I ended up going to a, a local electronics place, and I got I got some 1,000 microfarad 16 volt ones that didn't have anything, you know, down in the 6.3 volt range, and um, you know, I, a couple dollars, you know, two bucks or something like that. I figured, well, you know, what the hell, give it a give it a shot, see if uh, you know I could get it running again. Well, it turns out, um, you know, they have that ROHS compliant um, lead-free solder on these things. Man, it is a pain, a pain to desolder. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. Maybe you know. Maybe it's my my cheap, you know, twelve-dollar Radio Shack, you know, desolder pump thingy. That thing freaking rocks out the bulb. Um, Way better than a solder pole. Way better than the wick. I have, you know, a lot better luck with it. Um, there's my little plug for that. You know, go out and get one. Try it out. It's 12 bucks. You get extra tips. They're like 2 bucks a piece, man. I burned through a tip real quick. But I, I picked up some extra ones. And they really don't burn out that quick. Unless you, you don't use them right. Anyways, um, I gambled on this. I didn't think it was going to work, you know, once I finished, you know, it wasn't one of my prettier repairs on the, on, you know, the, the desoldering and whatnot. My, my resoldering looked pretty good, but the desoldering, I was, you know, sh old shaky hands and whatnot. But, uh, it turns out this thing powers right up now, um, worked perfectly fine. Uh, I do need to, you know, actually do a little burning test in it, but, it, you know, as I said, it did power up, you know, push the button, bing, there it goes, no issues. I had it running for a few minutes, I didn't want to, you know, get, get super crazy with it. So, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, you know, for other people that own this machine, uh, you know, there's an option for you. If you're having some trouble, you got to hold this button in to get it to power up or it won't power up at all. You know, check those capacitors, um... I'll try and get the locations. Uh, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I think it's like E6, E7, but don't quote me on that. Um, there's, as I said, six of them that you're going to replace. And, you know, that fixed my problem. Um, so, yeah, you know. 
Chuck it off some, to some some cheap caps, you know, getting making this machine not work. I mean, it's it's a nice machine. It's got you know those drive docks or whatnot, plus you know whatever else, CD writer, you know, card reader, um, some crazy PCIe cards that are in there. Uh, you know, I, no one's an Nvidia card, obviously, but uh, plus you know, there's a sticker there that says Nvidia. Um, but, um, there's another, like, audio card in there that was pretty, or not even an audio, another video card. Um, it's pretty burly in here, I gotta say. It's this big, long, sorry, this big, long guy here. There he is in the back. I haven't really looked into it at all. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, big thanks to my buddy, you know, for letting me do this repair. I actually offered, you know, to give it back to him, you know, and he didn't want it. Um, he's going to get a, a new machine, you know. Um, but, yeah, I hope, it, you know, this helps anybody that, you know, happens to have one of these, you know, machines. You know, uh, check your capacitors in there. Um, find a friend that does some, some good desoldering work and... You know, get those caps replaced. There you have it, folks. A couple bucks. Quad core, you know, processor, PC. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. You know, I'm going to stop rambling now. And, uh, you know, hit the, hit the like button if you like the video. And, uh, you know, catch you in the next one.